Okay, now some people out there would like to set up a hybrid studio setup where they've got their computer running their door software, Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton or whatever, but also they want to incorporate a bunch of external MIDI hardware into the setup. Drum boxes, synth, samplers, stuff like that. Now most beginners who don't have much experience think to themselves that if they want to set up a hybrid studio like that, then what they need to do is buy themselves a mixing desk. And then they think, okay, what I'll do is I'll send the audio out from all my external hardware to channels on the mixer. Then I'll also bring my door audio output into further channels on the mixer. And then I can mix together the door audio and the external hardware audio all together on the mixer and listen to the combination of the whole lot via the mixer left right out being fed to a pair of studio monitors. And yeah, you can do it like that. But there's a far better way to incorporate external hardware into a door studio type setup. And the best way to do it is by using an audio interface which has eight line inputs. So let me show you how that would work. Okay, so let's imagine we're doing this with the Presonus Studio 1824. Here's the Presonus. You've got two line inputs on the front and you've got a further six line inputs around at the back, giving you eight line inputs in total. Okay, next you get a bunch of external MIDI hardware. And then you connect the MIDI out from the audio interface out socket to each of your external hardware units. That way MIDI coming from your door will trigger any of the hardware units on whichever channels they're assigned to. Okay, next we plug the audio line outs from our external MIDI hardware into the eight line inputs of the audio interface. In this case at the top I've got the Casio synth plugged into input 1. Below that I've got the Deep Bass 9 mono synth plugged into input 2. Down at the bottom I've got a Novation Supernova with its stereo out plugged into inputs 3 and 4. Then I've got four mono outputs from an Akai S950 plugged into inputs 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, next, in your door, you create eight audio tracks and you assign the eight line inputs to the eight audio tracks. And then you put your door audio tracks into monitor mode. In Cubase, you do it like that. In Logic, you do it like that. So with your eight audio tracks set to monitor mode, then any signals passing into those audio tracks from the line inputs pass through the tracks in real time to the final stereo output of the door and from there the signal passes to the left right out of your audio interface and from there off to your monitor speakers where you hear the synth being triggered. Now to play and record patterns for the external hardware you either connect a USB keyboard to your door or you can use a traditional MIDI keyboard plugged into the MIDI input on the audio interface. Okay so that's how you set it all up and then the way it works is this. You trigger the external MIDI hardware via the master keyboard and then whenever one of the external hardware synths makes a sound its signal travels into the line input that it's plugged into. From there, the signal passes through into the audio track assigned to receive on that input. The audio track is set into input monitor mode, so the signal passes straight through the audio track, which is behaving as a mixer channel. The signal passes out of the audio track to the final stereo output of the door, and from there, the signal passes out of the door to the left-right output of the audio interface, and from there to your monitor speakers where you hear the synth being triggered. And that all happens in real time with no latency that you can notice, provided that you set up the audio interface with a low buffer size setting of 32, 64 or 128 samples. And um, that's how it all works. And of course, as the audio signal from any of the external hardware units passes through its audio track, you can add plug-in effects to that signal 
which you'll hear at the output of the door in real time, added to the signal from the synth, so you can add reverb, delay, or any other effects you want. And that's how that works. And it works the same in any door. Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools, or whatever. All you have to do is set up eight audio tracks, each of the tracks assigned to receive on each of the line inputs, and then you just have to put all of those tracks into input monitor mode. So the audio tracks are acting, as I said, as mixer channels to just take the signal, pass it through out of the door and to the monitor speakers in real time so you hear the synth being triggered when you play the master keyboard. And also, of course, at any time you can put any of those eight audio tracks into record mode and capture a recording of any of the hardware synths that are being fed into any of those eight tracks. And then finally, you record the MIDI patterns for the synth that you're triggering and playing onto MIDI tracks in your door. And that just leaves one question. How do you make sure that when you're playing the master keyboard, it triggers the correct external hardware unit? Well, that's really easy. Um, when you set up a MIDI track to record onto in your door, you simply assign it to the MIDI channel of the hardware unit that you want to trigger. Okay, and that is how you would use an audio interface with eight line inputs to set up a computer door and external MIDI hardware hybrid type studio setup. As you can see, it's actually quite simple. The eight line inputs feed the signals into the eight audio tracks, which act as the mixer channels, and you can add plug-in effects in real time, as I said. So there's no need to have an actual external hardware mixer to um, route all your hardware through to. Just plug the hardware units into the line inputs on the audio interface and um, use the door tracks as the mixer channels. It's as simple as that.